Angels are saying, you will receive an extra $80,000 from a person. This is your time to be happy. Type, amen to claim it. A message from your future. It all worked out. You made it through everything and you're the happiest you've ever been. You have your manifestations. You have your blessings. You have received all that you've been praying for. Your story had a few twists and turns, but that was all part of the plan to bring you to where you belong. Your soul was guiding you this whole time. You trusted, you believed, and you kept going. Congratulations to you. Even when you're not aware of it, God is directing your life. Proverbs 16.9 says, A person may plan his own journey, but the Lord directs his steps. God likes to direct you through his word. When we read and study the Bible regularly, that's often all he needs. But many of us don't spend enough time reading God's word, so another way he'll guide and direct us is through paint. Job 36.15 says, God teaches people through suffering and uses distress to open their eyes. Have you ever thought about why horse riders put a bit in a horse's mouth? It's not for the horse's comfort. The rider uses discomfort to point the horse in a different direction. In the same way, pain guides and directs you and often turns you in a new direction. When King David realized that God was using the pain in his life to point him in the direction God wanted him to go, David was actually grateful for his pain. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Psalm 119.71c S. God whispers to us in our pleasure but shouts to us in our pain. Pain is God's megaphone. It never leaves you where it found you. No matter how bad the pain is or where it came from, God can use it to point you toward your purpose. Paul said to the believers at Corinth who were experiencing some discomfort and pain, Now I am glad, not because it hurt you, but because the pain caused you to repent and change your ways. 2 Corinthians 7, 9 You don't have to be glad that you're experiencing pain, but you can ask God to use your pain to guide you in the right direction and thank Him for all the ways He will provide for you. Sometimes the fears in your life can be loud, demanding your attention, but you can trust that God is with you and for you and is more powerful than whatever you're afraid of. When the Apostle Paul was in a frightening situation, he chose to trust God instead of giving in to his fear. When he did, here's what he found to be true about God. He did rescue us from mortal danger, and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him, and he will continue to rescue us. 2 Corinthians 1.10 You have a choice just like Paul did. Choose to believe God is watching over you. Choose to trust Him. And choose not to give in to your fears. God promises believers that, no matter what happens to us, He is working for our good if we love Him and follow Him. Now we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28 If you're a believer, God promises all things are working together, for good not that all things are good, but that they are working together for good. That means you can stop listening to your fears, because there is no difficulty, dilemma, defeat, or disaster in the life of a believer that God can't ultimately get some good out of. There is no need to fear the future. Your fears reveal where you do not trust God. So today, make a list of your fears and ask God to help you identify the reason you have. Then ask Him to help you replace your fears with trust. Father God, I thank you for today and your endless love. Guide me, light my path, 
and fill me with the fruits of your Spirit. Help me to love and serve others, speaking words of encouragement. In challenges, remind me you're by my side, giving me strength. Let all I do today glorify you. Bless my day and those I meet. In Jesus' name, amen. Here's what you need to understand about life. Even when you trust someone, keep some things to yourself. If you want to build something worthwhile, be ready for criticism. Growth isn't loud. It doesn't flex. It doesn't seek validation. It's quiet, humble, and reassuring. Growth is looking yourself in the mirror, knowing you gave it all you got and congratulating yourself on another beautiful and blessed day. Don't be afraid to start over again. This time, you are not starting from scratch. You are starting from experience. Eat better, run more, hit the gym, sleep earlier, wake up early, drink more water, read books, talk less, listen more, feel deeper, love better. Open your mind, travel, experience life, be happy, life's short, get busy living. Before you judge someone else, remember that you have blind spots in your own life. Blind spots are attitudes or weaknesses that you can't see or refuse to see, even though they might cause conflict with others. For instance, you may be constantly argumentative and not realize you keep turning simple conversations into debates. Jesus says that when you feel the urge to judge someone because of their blind spots, think of it as an opportunity to uncover your own and to address them. Jesus talked about this in the Sermon on the Mount. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Matthew 7, 3, 5, Navi. He's saying, how dare you? Why are you so concerned about the sin in someone else's life when you haven't dealt with the even greater sin in your own life? Take care of your blind spots so that you will be able to see clearly and help others. Have you noticed that you tend to judge others on what you dislike in yourself? For example, if you know you're lazy and you don't like that about yourself, you're likely to see it more in others and judge them. If you're prideful or greedy, you tend to spot that quickly in other people. Whatever you struggle with, you'll notice others more easily. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11.31, If we judged ourselves in the right way, God would not judge us. NCV. Think about what that verse is saying. If we would seriously examine our lives and self-evaluate our own weaknesses, faults, and failures, instead of pointing them out in others, we would be prepared to stand before God in humility. God is for you not against you. He already knows your blind spots, and he wants to help you resolve them so that you can mature in your faith. To live an abundant life that overflows with God's goodness, the first thing you need to do is start being grateful and stop complaining. The second thing you need to do is start being content and stop comparing. God made you to be you. He doesn't want you to be anybody else. When you compare yourself to other people, you get envious and resentful, and you might even start to copy them. But God has never made a clone. God only makes originals. Even identical twins are different in thousands of ways. If you won't be you, then who will be you? The truth is that comparing only gets you in trouble. When you compare your looks, your grades, your spouse, your career, or your kids, it causes two problems. One, you get full of discouragement because you can always find someone who's better off than you, someone who is better looking, makes more money, or has more talent. And two, you get full of pride. Why? Because you can always find someone who's not doing as well as you. The Bible says, 
it is better to be content with what little you have. Otherwise, you will always be struggling for more, and that is like chasing the wind. Ecclesiastes 4, 6. Because of social media, it's easier than ever to compare yourself to others. When you see posts every day that shout, Look at me! Look what I can do! Look what I've got! It can draw you into a state of envy and discontent. It can even cause you to try to impress others with your own posts. But the thing is, you don't have to impress anyone. A key to living a life overflowing with joy is to just be yourself, content with who God made you to be. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed? Do you want to be spiritually and emotionally healthy? The Bible says, it's healthy to be content, but envy can eat you up. Proverbs 14.30 Contentment comes when you enjoy what you have rather than waiting for something else to make you happy. Stop comparing yourself to other people and start being content with what God has given you and then watch your joy overflow. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 7, KJV Cast thy burden upon the Lord and shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalm 55, 22, KJV Do not carry your burdens in your own strength. Lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ and trust him. He will give you the grace, strength, wisdom, and courage to deal with your problems. He knows every battle you fight, every area you are weak in and broken, every every burden you carry and every hardship you face. His eyes are fixed upon you. Doubt not His grace because of your hardship, but believe that He loves you as much in seasons of trouble as in times of happiness. The battles, burdens, and hardships He has allowed in your life have a purpose. Through your hardship, he is training you to be a man of God. He is strengthening your soul and lifting your spirit upward towards eternal things while separating you from the things of this world. He is working things out for your good. Jesus' hands were pierced for your redemption, and you shall surely feel that same hand comforting you. Anxiety makes us doubt God's loving kindness, and thus our love to Him grows cold. We feel mistrust, and thus grieve the Spirit of God, so that our prayers become hindered, our consistent example marred, and our life one of self-seeking. Thus want of confidence in God leads us to wander far from Him. But if through simple faith in His promise, we cast each burden as it comes upon him and are careful for nothing because he undertakes to care for us. It will keep us close to him and strengthen us against much temptation. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind stays on thee because he trusteth in thee. Isaiah 26, 3 KJV Make God your strength and fight in his strength, not your own. It is when you are weak that you are really strong because God's strength is manifested in your and His grace is sufficient. Make God your refuge, your hiding place. Do not worry yourself. God left Him to try Him that He might know all that was in His heart. Sue Chronicles 3231 KJV in order to bring out and make manifest Hezekiah's character, the searcher of hearts, God, left Hezekiah to himself, that by this trial and his weakness in it, what was in Hezekiah's heart might be known, that he was not so perfect in grace as he thought he was. God left Hezekiah to himself and his own impotency and corruption. God withdrew from him those supplies and assistance of his spirit which would certainly and effectively have kept Hezekiah from sin and Satan. God left Hezekiah so that he might know that he had infirmities and sins as well as virtues, and therefore that the great mercies which he had received 
were not the effects of his own merits, as he might be prone to believe, but of God's free grace. Here we see the reason why the faithful are tempted, which is to determine whether they have faith or not, and that they may feel the presence of God who does not allow them to be overcome by temptations, but in their weakness administers strength. Many times, we don't know what sins and corruption lurks in our own hearts, and these sins and corruptions come out in the open when God withdraws from us. Like Hezekiah, God sometimes withdraws from his men in order to try their faith, to expose their sins, and to show them the corrupt nature of their hearts. For no man can refrain from sinning by his own strength, but it is God who keeps men from sins and from Satan. It is good for us to know ourselves and our own weakness and sinfulness that we may not be conceited or self-confident, but may always live in dependence upon divine grace. We know not the corruption of our own hearts, nor what we shall do if God leaves us to ourselves. Hezekiah's sin was that his heart was lifted up. Men need to study their own infirmities and follies, and their obligations to free grace, that they may never think highly of themselves, but beg earnestly of God that he will always keep them humble. Hezekiah made a bad return to God for his favors by making even those favors the food and fuel of his pride. Let us shun the occasions of sin. Let us avoid the company, the amusements, the books, yea, the very sights that may administer to sin. Let us commit ourselves continually to God's care and protection and beg of never to leave us nor forsake us. Marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Choose your hard. Obesity is hard. Being fit is hard. Choose your hard. Being in debt is hard. Being financially disciplined is hard. Choose your hard. Communication is hard. Not communicating is hard. Choose your hard. Life will never be easy. It will always be hard but we can choose our hard pick wisely. Some people are spiritually literate. They read energy. They can sense true intentions and feelings, despite what's coming from someone's mouth. This week's vibes are success, abundance, love, happy relationships, personal growth, and amazing blessings. Get ready for a massive positive change in your life. Stagnancy or feeling stuck doesn't only happen when we're unsure what step to take next. It sometimes happens when we have too many ideas for what's next. All these projects and obligations we're taking on simultaneously are dividing our energy into so many different directions, and this can contribute to us feeling stuck. When the event came, there came a rich man of Arimathea, met Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. Matthew 27, 57, 60, KJV. His cross stands empty in a world grown silent through hours of anguish and of dread. In stillness, the earth awaits the resurrection, while Christ goes to wake up the dead. In Matthew 12:40. Jesus compares himself to Jonah, proclaiming, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12:40 KJV Hell is in the heart of the earth. And clearly, when Christ died, he gave up his spirit. John 19:30. So after he died, what did Christ do? What happened after the cross and before the resurrection? 1. 
Christ descended into the depths of hell to proclaim his gospel victory, that the atonement for sins has been made and Satan and death have been defeated. He proclaimed it to souls of unbelievers and fallen angels imprisoned in hell. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. 1 Peter 3, 18, 19, KJV. 2. Then he went to the part of hell called Abraham's bosom or paradise, the place of comfort where the souls of the faithful were, as they couldn't yet enter heaven, as the atonement for sins hadn't been made, and proclaimed liberty to those who had died in faith. He then took those believers with him, along with the thief on the cross, to heaven, where all believers now go immediately upon death. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Ephesians 4, 8, 10, KJV. 3. He conquered death and rose from the dead on the third day, and along with him many believers were resurrected. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Matthew 27, 51, 53, KJV. If you're feeling frightened about what comes next, don't be. Embrace the uncertainty. Allow it to lead you places. Be brave as it challenges you to exercise both your heart and your mind as you create your own path towards happiness. Don't waste time with regret. Spin wildly into your next action. Enjoy the present, each moment, as it comes. Because you'll never get another one quite like it. And if you should ever look up and find yourself lost, simply take a breath and start over. Retrace your steps and go back to the purest place in your heart, where your hope lives. You'll find your way again. Subscribe our channel to help us reach 30,000 divine subscribers before April. Donate us super thanks to support us. Type Amen to affirm. God is telling you today that the biggest breakthrough and gift of everything you touch this week will change your life, will grow, and your best days are still to come. You say it, and I say it. Whatever you hoped for is getting close, so get ready and start. God is ready to put the keys right in your hand. Hands. If you think you're lucky, please click that button video today. Something good is going to happen. Healing is about to start. Things that will happen. Prayers will be answered. New chances and doors are about to open today will be a big deal. Today, Innes, in the name of Jesus, amen, your prayers are being answered. Right away, the wait is too much for this week. Gifts, healing, miracles, new chances, and breakthroughs. Don't worry. God is telling you today, it's already worked. It turns out that you're reading this because God has blessed you. He is telling you not to give up because good things are on the way. God is telling you today that the curse is over and your money is safe. We'll start to grow and God will repair what you have. If you lose something, you will get better and bounce back. Better days are coming. Will come your way and a beautiful door is opening for you, and the chance of a lifetime is coming your way. God will bless you, and God is giving you the tools you need to reach your goals today, that you will never be alone. I'm making a way for you, right? Now answers will come, if you can. Please give to our charity good news. God has set you on a path God will bless you this week 
not only emotionally, but also physically and financially. Help you do miracles and get rid of obstacles, enemies, and God will open doors for you, protect you, and bless you. He will also heal you and cover you. You're loved by God. Believe it in Jesus. No matter what the doctor says, the diagnosis is never final. We worship a strong God who healed today. Claim it. God will change your mistake with clarity and promise that he'll calm you down and set you free from. Despite your worry and overthinking, I want to let you know that whatever you hoped for is getting closer. You should get ready and start packing. God is ready to put the keys in your hands. Something good is going to happen because of you. Today, people will get better and their prayers will be heard. Today will be a big day because new opportunities and doors are about to open. Today, in the name of Jesus, amen. Your prayers are being heard. Right on time, the wait is over. This week will be full of blessings, health, miracles, new chances, and big steps forward. Today, God is telling you not to worry because it has already worked. It turns out that you're reading this because God has blessed you. He is telling you not to give up because good things are on the way. Way join if you believe in God's plan. Today, God is telling you that now that the curse is over, your money will start to come in. Increase a beautiful door is opening for you, and a once-in-a-lifetime chance is coming, and God will give you the help and tools you need to reach your God is telling you today that you are not meeting your goals. I'm making a way for you all by myself, right? Now the answers will come in handy good news. God has made a way for you physically and mentally. This week, God will bless you financially, help you open doors, do miracles, and get rid of obstacles, problems, and threats. And God will protect you. God loves you, and he will heal and cover you. Doctor, your word is never final. Receive it in Jesus' name. God will change your name with a strong one that heals today. Mistake, he'll clear your mind and set you free with clarity and assurance. God wants to free you today from worry and overthinking. That you will get good things, angels are watching over you, and the Spirit is telling you that your health will get better and your wealth will grow. Things will get better and all of your needs will be met. Your life will be full of there are benefits and chances, but I'm not sure who needs to listen up. You'll make it. This is your sign that you'll make it. Everything will be fixed and even better than before. Watch as God heals you and you make up time. Christ loves you and you will make. If you believe in it, please share this word. Miracles, you're about to make a big step forward that will blow your Keep this in mind. God has great plans for you. God is telling you today that your big break is almost here. You'll soon find the answers. The good changes you've been looking for will happen in every parts of your life. You're not just reading this by accident. This is your proof that you will make it, no matter what seems right. Now God is sending gifts, solutions, healing, love, and good change, hold on, be strong, and don't give up. Greetings, and welcome to the Morning of Wonders. I am pleased to report progress in today you will see a crop of benefits. Say it with me again. I have a clear head today. Good, I have a prayer, some thoughts, and a plan that I think God will open. Doors that will help me grow mentally and spiritually. Finally and finally, in the name of Jesus and the Amen, I say that the curse has been broken. Taken away, your health will get better and your wealth will start to grow. Grow. God is telling you today that this is your day to win. 
season lost no more bills, or I pray that you and your family are blessed and that you have a good day. This week, in the name of Jesus, you will be safe and happy in everything you do. Peace, the days to come will bring good luck, breakthroughs, and huge gifts. Triumph and joy if you love Jesus, leave a comment. Yes, God is telling you today that you will get a gift that will change your life forever, and you'll know when it does. Something great has happened to you this week. Get ready for it. God is good. Today, God is talking to you, and you haven't seen anything. Still, what I have in store for you this week is bigger, better, and more. More satisfying than anything you've ever felt before. Don't give up. Get up. The devil failed to remove you last month and will fail again this time. You already won last month. You are an... You are more than a winner, overcomer. God is getting you ready for more. Chance, health, peace of mind, benefits, and money. Good luck. God is talking to you today. Strong. I am your strength. I know what you're going through. I'll help you get through it. Trust me no matter what storm. I've never left you and I never will. Now that better times are coming, don't give up. Prayers that were private are now being said in public by God. Amazingly, God is telling you today, I will take away all of your worry and fear. Take away your stress and pain and give you my peace, love, and healing. God is telling someone today, I will not leave you no matter what, which is a gift. God wants you to know that he is with you no matter what other people do. Today, know that you are not alone. This month, God will bless you with blessings, more happiness, bigger smiles, financial breakthroughs, and more. God is telling you today to send this to someone who needs hope. That you need to get ready right now is not. You're going to get permanent gifts and breakthroughs. I'll pay you more than you. I'll bless you more than your normal wage. I will make a big change in your life because you were hit hard and you're going to get hit with more gifts. Today, God is telling you to change your worry into love. This month will be full of good news, advances, answered prayers, miracles, and God is telling you today, favor, I know you've been doubting yourself lately. I want to know if you're really strong or good enough to do what I want you to do. This message is meant to tell you that you can do all things through Christ. Whatever you do, don't give up or let fear stop you from going after your goal. Remember that I'm with you and that you will. You can succeed and God is telling you today that you can do it. If you think I've forgotten about you, I haven't. I've just hidden you in the palm of my hand. On the other hand, the stillness you feel is the silence of my rest, which I am giving you. Remember that I have no morals and will let you use anything I give you. Go through for your own good, trust, and enjoy the pleasure of if you relax and stay in my hands, nothing bad can get to you. There, say, Hallelujah, today, because you've been fighting for a long time. In terms of money, religion, and feelings, you have a kind heart, but others have. The devil has tried many times to hurt you in different ways to drive you crazy. You've been lied to in a number of. Even though you're in the middle of a storm, you're still here because I'm with you. I'll make sure that no tool made against you gets stronger. Don't worry. I'll make things right and bless you in front of everyone. Believe that God is talking to you today, even though people are trying to stop you. You have cried many times in private, 
And now your private tears are going to show everyone that I'm making things right, and no one will be able to get credit for the changes that will be made to your life, will keep waiting for me to get rid of your fears and problems. Stress and worry this Monday morning, sing with joy, because you're ready to soar to new heights. My hand is on you, don't give up. Kid, God is talking to you today. I have a plan for you don't lose faith in me by thinking about why did I lead the Israelites across the Red Sea to the promised land? Heard what I had made for them and told me they thought it would be best to stay in. Egypt, they no longer trust me because they are focused on what they see instead of me. There may be things going on in your life that are making you lose trust in me. But remember this, I promise to bless you and make you rich, protect you and give you everything you need in life. You also know every word. Please trust that what I say will never be empty. Remember that I led the Israelites to the Red Sea to get rid of the please trust the way I set out for them to get to the promised land. I have a plan for everything. Always keep in mind that you have a promise to keep my word if I make one. Type, God is good if you read this. Yes, God says, My sweet little fighter, I know the journey ahead, all problems are solved, and the road is clear, so rest up, my child, and enjoy life. I've planned peace and quiet for you today, and when the time comes, I'll take you. For now, you may just go through the process. Don't worry about your small heart. Trust me. I'm in charge of the situation and God is telling you, I love you. Don't let the crooked plans work. Today you kept going even when things got tough. I gave you the strength to handle things, but there were times when you didn't know it. It was me who cried for you when things changed. Many people had left you and ignored you. But you did more than just make it through the storm. You thrived in it. You're not like other people, and I didn't make you fit in, made you stand out, and now I'm going to praise you. I'm ready to take your commitment to heights you never thought possible. Take it in my name and share your favorite Bible verse in the comments. God tells you not to even think about giving up. You'll make it no matter what. I know you're worried about how things look right now. Your money, health, and family, and know that I work all the time in your favor today. I will bless you with peace, health, and victory if you don't give up. To turn this bad situation into something good, get ready for your good luck. The next three months will get you ready for the next five. Years, God tells you that no matter what your goals are, everything is going to work out. No matter what war you're fighting, I wish you success this week. Declare success for you. I promise that no matter what problems you face, they will lose. In Jesus' name, I wish you a good day. Have a great week, and remember that the Lord will get you through it. He will never go back to people who have hurt or abused him because of this. You're not a fool, and you're not just a choice. You are a king's child, and the Lord offers you more. You can make links, get chances, and get rewards like this if you believe in angels from God telling you today that victory is on the way. Home. Your money problems are about to get worse. Your health is about to get better. You are healthy, and you're lucky that you're wealthy and successful. I liked that you are growing and winning. Look forward to good news today, and look forward to new chances. Expect healing today, expect success, and say that God is setting up a way for you right now, and God will reward you with good things. And new chances, everything you've hoped for is about to come true. I swear that your health will get better, and your situation will get better. Things will get better with your money, and you'll be able to pay your bills. Blessing other people. Miracles and good things are coming your way. 
At home, you're about to receive a surprise gift, chance. If you say, I am healed over and over, God will do the impossible for you. I am strong and filled with God's Spirit. Anointed angels protect God's favor, and my house is full of them. Comfort. The Lord is helping me. It's my. This is the season when new doors will open in the name of Jesus. Good things will happen in the form of gifts, breakthroughs, and full health. Amen. May God bless you and make you rich in, let us say it, God is with you today on your comeback in ways you can't understand. Thought for the day. Don't let the pain you just went through make you weak. Don't worry about what God tells you about someone. It's just the truth you were looking for. Don't worry. God knows everything you're going through and can help you. Need. He knows where you're getting tired. And right now the Lord says, Hold on tight. I'll keep my word, something bigger is coming. And if you trust God's plan, you will see that I was always there for you. Leave a comment about your faith in the next few days. You will watch as God fixes what's wrong in your life. Life. I say that your healing has been set free. I say that your money is now yours. The harvest will come in, and God will be there and working. Take back your life and believe this message with faith in Jesus' name. God will start a chain in your name. Amen. You'll be shocked at how everything changes when you get rich and successful. Finds a way to bring you love and healing job opportunities, new ways to make money. And today, your gifts say that you won't worry about things that aren't in your. No matter what you do, People will be people, and jobs will be jobs. If God wants to handle it, He can do it this weekend. Good news. God is at work behind the scenes. God is telling you today that He is fighting for you, and the Kerr CSE is no longer working, and your money will start to rise if something doesn't work out for you. Be happy because it just means that when one door closes, God has something bigger and better planned for you. Opens today. God is telling you that there is a change and the things are going well for you in this setting. Don't give up hope. No way. God didn't bring you this far just to leave you. God has a plan to stop the enemy's plan to do the magic you've been hoping for and overwhelm you with. Why you should be inspired today and help our cause by God is sending a surprise to your house that will change everything. Life. God bless you this morning. You'll make it, and so will your family. Okay? Just stand there and let me fight this war. I swear that the curse has been broken. Broken, your health will get better, and you'll start making money. This is a big day for you because Jesus' power has broken through the circle of delays and be ready for unexpected phone calls. Good luck and good news are coming your way. Starting today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to let you know that many of you will soon get keys to homes that the Lord is freeing up. You will get your keys and be able to drive your cars, own property, and land to move into the house within three months of everything you're worried about. It doesn't matter. Just breathe and hand it over to God is going to suddenly change your tale. You will go from God telling you today that as your benefits get closer, your attacks will get stronger. Increase and work hard, and trust me, you will be soon. Three giants will be removed from your life, debt, illness, and let's pray for failure in the name of Jesus. God is speaking to you today. He waited, prayed, and cried, and then he gave him back. Honor God is telling you today, I'm going to bless you in a surprise way, big wins. Don't give up on what you've been hoping for. Trust me, God is with you now as I get you ready for a, you are about to see a breakthrough like you've never seen before. Season. Don't look down on the way or the process. 
even if there are storms, they will make you more like I have a hold on your life, and people will watch from afar and wonder how you have such good luck in your life that they wouldn't understand it was my. No one will ever take credit for the hand that made you do this. What I did through you, walk freely and with confidence. No tool made against you will follow you into the new season. In Isaiah 60:22, God said, When the time is right, I the Lord. God made a promise to you that he would make it happen. Heart or gave you a dream, he picked the best time to make it come true. He has already set up your breakthrough in recovery, and there will be times in your life when everything will just click into place, where the right people will show up and a chance will arise. What you believe in may not have happened yet, but when you understand that God does have a right time that was planned by the person who made the world, you won't be scared or angry anymore. If you feel God's presence, please leave a quote trust me. Just believe what God is telling you right now. Fully pay attention. I know it's not easy. I know it might be hard sometimes, and that my will can get mixed up. It's not always the same, but please trust me because I only want the best. For you to trust me because I only want to give you what you deserve. And sometimes that means closing a certain door. Sometimes that means turning down one of your prayers, and other times it means getting rid of someone or something from your life. So today, just trust me. Trust my will. Trust my way and believe that I know what I'm doing. Think that my ideas are much better than yours, because they are. I know you're angry and stressed out right now, and that you have a lot on your mind. You feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. I need you to pray to me about all of your worries and sadness by yourself. Give it to me right now. Whether you're at home, at work, or at the I'll build a way for the store I give you. I am the thing that makes you feel relaxed and at ease. Don't worry, I've got you and your problem covered. Control. God heard your prayers last night. He felt fear and misery. He saw the tears you shed out of confusion and pain because of your parents, kids, friends, and current situation. God is telling you today that for every tear and sleepless night, I have a blessing for you as you leave. I sent an army of angels to prepare the way for this. You are going to end the pain you are feeling soon. End your prayers and receive my gifts, healing, answers, and divine favor. God told her, I want you to be happy again. I want you to know that you're not alone. I'm all for you. You are having problems, but I have already sent you angels to help you. Don't worry, trust me. I think I have a really great finish in planned, which is why you should be excited again since the great. If you believe in Jesus Christ, the ending I've planned will really shake things up for you. Pay attention. This is the proof you've been waiting for. You're not reading this not by accident. I'm writing you today with a message full of love, my dear daughter and son. Heavenly beings have something to offer me that I hope comes straight from heaven. Something amazing is going to happen in your life soon and promises to change everything around you, so it's important that you stay. Stay with me until the end so you can fully grasp what's going to happen and how it will happen. You should do something now and you'll get it done no matter what. I'm working on the things right now that have been bothering you I will fix your health, your income, and your I am taking back your relationships and everything Satan stole from you. No one can stop me. About to do in your life, they might not believe you or talk about you, but one one thing I know for sure is that they won't make fun of you, and no one will when I'm with you. 
can work against you if you're late or don't use broken. I'm about to show up and be shocked by the gift that's still to come. Things happen for a reason, and that reason brings about change. Sometimes it hurts, and other times it's good, is hard, but everything works out for the best in the end. Don't lose faith in me, and if you believe in my plan and people talk about you, don't worry. Listen, I'm your protector, and I'll set a table for your thieves. Those who try to remove you will see you as a person of honor. This is your protector at work today. Speak to you in love and light, for the time is now and your way is clear. Deserves the truth of what I say. Open your heart and listen with your soul. Let my words sink in. To be honest, I really need you to stay with me for these few minutes. This video, because this message today will totally change your life. Not like any other day because this is a one-of-a-kind moment and it's me, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I'm here to speak to your heart. It's not an accident that our destinies join together in this divine moment, in the loving embrace of my everlasting love. It was my honor to watch you walk steadily through the valleys of tribulation, the ridicule and disrespect that could be heard around you, making your heart will shake, and the tears you shed will soon be forgotten shadows in the light of your unwavering faith. Don't miss a second of this movie. I will say a secret prayer for you in the last second. I am your God. I'm about to send you a gift, but you need me to do something first. That needs to be done right away. The devil wants you to worry, but I tell you not to. Trust me and tell me you're doing a great job before you do it. Getting it right, liking yourself more, growing your thankfulness will bring back your trust. There isn't a single part of your soul that you haven't fed, cared for, and healed. Don't let your mind tell you otherwise. The fact that you're not where you should be, but rather in the blessing. Root your energy so deeply in the present that your past doesn't matter. Self will have no choice but to leave with the power to grow and be. Your magic is what makes you feel at ease in the same place that tried you. Different, you're unbeatable. Block out the noise of bad things. Pay attention to the soft melody of your eye. The Lord always have the last word. You might not see a way forward, but I do. Set out a plan. He is now battling his demons. Things are turning out well for you. Big steps are being taken. It may look like the new beginnings. Health and wealth will last forever, but I say it will only. In the short term, I'm about to turn the tables. Don't stress out about anything. Just pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6 says, You need to wait for what is meant to come. You don't rush, try to control, or put someone in a bad mood. You don't worry or settle down. Too much. Everything is already set up for you. Accept, believe, and enter. 1111. If you believe me, the Lord's Spirit is telling you that your patience is wearing thin. Divine miracles are happening because you went through tough events and hard lessons and came out stronger. Your good choices are making a bigger difference than ever. Instead of living, you have been living consciously from the heart instead of just in your mind. It gets stronger with each step you take on your journey. Things are about to get a lot. I'll use people because it's better for you, but they are not your source. Take a good look at your cousin, neighbor, or friend. People have limits on me, but stories can make you dislike me. Don't judge people based on what other people say about them, you smart people. Them for yourself, and then make up your mind. 
The person talking to you might be the one you shouldn't pray for your group. I gave him a dream. He will make it happen. Everything you need to become your best self is present in the people who want to see you weakening you by whispering doubts and jealousies in you. They will soon be able to speak because your mind will soon shut them up. Unwavering faith in my power grew for everyone to see. I saw every tear. He heard every quiet prayer in the peace of your tribes, and his faith was a bright light in the rough night of his troubles that was smoothed out until it was as pure gold shining, shining brightly even in the darker parts of his journey. Let me speak to your heart. The tears that fell were soft, like a father could only give to his son. From your eyes and the hard times you went through were seen by my loving eyes. The tears weren't wasted because a garden of gifts will grow from them. That will bloom on your way. The winds of time will blow away, the dark clouds will part, and my love will shine on every tear you shed will become a sign of my forgiveness and love for you no matter what. If you, if you believe what I say, you should know that the months of hard work for money are almost over. At the end, a shower of wealth is coming your way, ready to fill your life. Your angels and all of your ancestors are working to bring you plenty. You with everything you need to reach your full potential trust deeply in. You will never face a problem or task that is as big as the ones you're currently facing. Soul can't get past. You should welcome these unique problems and thank the source for giving you a chance to grow. I know you are going through a, going through a tough time in your life and having to deal with many problems and a lot of mental pain before you can get over. When one thing leads to another, always remember that I am with you until the, until the end of time. I am your father, your guide, your guardian, and your biggest dear lover. You are mine. You are rich beyond your wildest dreams. Not for the, the world's short-lived riches, if not for the eternal riches of my love and grace, walk in this truth and let the peace of my presence bring you joy and strength. Your life, you are my beloved, and I see you royal people who are adorned with the beauty of holiness and are bound for glory that more than anything else. So my son, take the confidence I gave you and move forward in trust that I am with you. So even if you trip, you won't fall because I am with you. Hold you up with my holy right hand and do everything you do with the If you love someone, don't give up their trust. Up. I'm making you stronger in ways you can't see right now. You and I will get. I told you in Isaiah 42, 9, that through this together, everything will work out for the best. And ten old things have died. Now I'm going to tell you about the new write a new song for the Lord. I, your God, tell you that the things you're losing, the things you've been fighting for, which hurts and makes you sad. I'm going to do something to stop being lonely and bad habits. The problem that has been bothering you and causing stress is about to go away. Something great will take the place of your life. Say this on faith and enter five and press F5 to firmly believe what you are about to learn today is true. Transforming in the middle of trials, stay firm in the hope of my grace, because I am faithful to those who believe in my power and know that the wait time waits are not in vain, because they build character, boost faith, and prepare the way for the fulfillment of my perfect plan for your life when you truly Seek me, you will find the light that drives away the darkness of doubt. Trust in my goodness, for I am the guardian of those who come to me for safety. Like a loving father, I pay attention to your heart's wishes and will answer when the time is right. Keep looking.
because the ties of waiting will show you how beautiful my love is. These words should really get into your heart and give you hope. Sure of my love that can't be broken. I am the Lord your God, and my people who trust me will be blessed I believe in God's plan if you do too, this promise to keep it. Remember the cross, my son. Remember the thorns and the nails in the price of your freedom was the solid wood. I beat sin and death, but not as a conqueror who wants payment, but also as a loving father who promises the future of his beloved children. My win made a way for them to get from earth to heaven. All of you who believe in your journey through this world should hold on to my kindness. We'll go through many trials, but be of good. Be glad that your faith has led to the saving and redemption of your soul. Feel safe in my arms and give me your whole heart. Your safe place and strength, always there to help you in times of need to trust me with your hopes, dreams, and fears, no matter how big or small. Please find peace in me and don't let the clock bother you. What's the hurry? In my country, a day is like a thousand years, and a, a thousand years is the same as one day. In the next 48 hours, you will have a big change in your finances. Get ready to see an amazing rise in your bank account that was beyond your wildest dreams. From now on, every deal you make will be an investment that pays off ten times over. I believe I have the right to say that I am ready to enjoy the fruits of unmatched prosperity. Faith and Hope As my gift, financial freedom will flow like a river of wealth through your family. Flows freely to make everyone around you happy. Don't miss it. Have the chance to see this amazing change happen if you believe in the power, because I want you to see this special movie. Watch it all the way through and don't stop. Have hope, because money is coming to you much faster than you can handle. Have a dream about what I have in store for you. Words. Fill your heart with hope and faith, because what's about to happen is, be truly amazing, and become a bright beacon of wealth. Now spreading happiness to everyone around you, my son. Enjoy where you are now. As this story comes to a close, remember how great you are. Now and every moment after will be even better. Feel better and be thankful. And be thankful for all the good things that have happened to you so far. Is going well? And have faith that the path you've been given will lead you to better than you thought it would be. Don't let the thrill of a fresh start make you forget how strong the present moment is. Like you today is a valuable gift. Fill it with love, light, and divine energy. What a great chance this is. Given to you. Thank you for taking part. Let me talk to you. With the kind of love that only a father can give, oh, my son, the tears. People saw the tears that fell from your eyes and the problems you're having. The tears that fell before my loving eyes were not in vain. They will grow, a many good things will happen to you as you walk along this road. Take away the dark clouds and the sun of my kindness will shine on you. If you let me, every tear will be proof of my forgiveness and love for you no matter what. Trust me, you should know that the times of having to work hard for money are over. As the rainy season ends, a shower of wealth is about to come your way. A lot of people believe in the power of waiting and persistence, just like you do. You planted seeds of hard work and commitment, and now you will harvest the fruits of your hard work and be aware of the chances that will come up. Take this money for yourself and know that I'm directing your steps. With thanks, but don't forget to work on being humble. 
your fate is connected to the world, and together we will make a way for it to happen. Favors and plenty in everything you do. Always remember that you are stronger than you think. Think that the problems you face are because you have a divine spark inside you. Got through were stepping stones to your growth, and the wealth that is coming shows how valuable you are. Trust the path you're on, and be willing to accept the gifts that the world has in store for you. And happiness are like magnets that pull in the wealth that's about to come. Make it happen and get ready to enjoy the fruits of your work and share your good fortune with others. Don't forget to show thanks every day to the people around you, because gratitude is the language of the heart. As the rule of money draws near, make the most of your newfound wealth. Be wise and let love and kindness guide you. Be a lighthouse for others. Hope and kindness. You're not going through this trip by yourself. I'll be with you the whole way. With love and understanding, trust that God's plan is being carried out for you and know that times of happiness and wealth are just around the corner. I think it's right for me to confirm that I will receive this flood of money with thank you, but don't forget to practice humble giving as well. Your fate is linked. Connect with the world, and we'll make a path of blessings together. Whenever you face a challenge, know that you are stronger than you think. Think that the obstacle is less for you because you have the divine spark inside you. Got through were stepping stones to your growth, and the wealth that is approaching shows how valuable you are. Trust the path you're on and be. You must be willing to receive the gifts that the world has in store for you. Being positive is like a magnet that pulls in the good things that are about to happen. Make it happen. Get ready to enjoy the results of your hard work and share your good fortune with those around you. Don't forget to say thank you every day. It's the heart's language. Now let me stir your heart with the promises of God found in Jeremiah 29.11. Don't just read the words. How much I love you is shown by the fact that I know the plans I have made for us. Out for you, picture every tiny detail carefully wove into a heavenly tapestry. Each thread is a guide with a specific goal that was made to shape your fate. The plans I have for you are more than just ideas. They're a carefully planned life project in the darkest parts of my love that will never end. When I talk about a plan for peace instead of evil, picture a road lit by the The light of my grace is free of shadows that could make your future less bright. When you talk about the future and hope, Picture a sky full of possibilities. Every sunrise is a chance to find the riches I have set aside just for you. Let the sure of these words caress your soul, knowing that my loving is in charge of your fate. Hands that shape every part of your journey like an artist's passionate work. Challenges are like frames that show off how beautiful your trip is. Joys are like bright colors that make a picture of your life. Trust my son in everything he says. This promise for me, the Lord, talk. But I also think this truth should fill every cell. Of your being giving you direction with the knowledge that you are safe in the arms of my endless loved son, hear my words with an open heart. That rings through Lamentations 3.25. I, the Lord, make known the truth that goes beyond time and place. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, and those who seek Him can see the hope in this verse. I have goodness saved for people who trust me. Patiently waiting is a faith, and the hearts that long for me will be repaid. I'll give you one more second. Chance that a second wind will help you fix something lost. 
You're about to open that door again, but this time it will be bigger. It will be much bigger when I say I will fix it up than before. I saw that your life is full of choices and that you sometimes think too much about your choices, picturing a terrible disaster that will happen if you make the wrong choice. To tell you that you will always be able to get away from some problems. The choices you make and the problems you face are not mistakes. They are your path. Believe that the world and your own soul will lead you in the right direction. That you are right where you should be. Soon, you will celebrate. Things that will make you so happy and full of joy that they will. It's almost strange how everything just happens when you're ready for it. Expect it. It's going to happen. Type 555 if you are, that's why I tell you to get ready for a change that will make you stronger. On your journey, your spirit's power to feel everything has never been a flaw, has been your secret tool the whole time as you think about the plan's eye. You should know that hope is the key that opens those doors. Faith is the key to seeing these divine promises come true. My ideas grow into real things that you can use in your daily life. Don't give up when you see shadows covering the slopes or dangerous markers on the mountains. Storms, times of despair, no matter how strong and painful, are only whispers I am with you in the great symphony of eternity, both inside and outside of you. I promise you that my arm is not too short to save you, or my hearing is too weak to hear your screams when the heat of trial comes. Don't be afraid to burn your heart. I won't leave you. You have the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit to protect yourself. Hold firm in the knowledge that trials are just tools in my hands that I can use to shape you up so that you can carry out the high calling I have given you. You can tell the difference between good and bad emotions in a flash. I, you are pure magic. What works for your body doesn't work for your soul. Need for anyone else to understand where you're going in life is about to miraculously get. Better pay attention to the wise words of your trust your gut and do what it tells you. Everything is working out for the best. What you don't know is that you should learn to be true to the little things. The little things you do are building up to something big in your life. They are learning what it means to be committed, and I am getting you ready for that, my daughter. More than that, my Bible says I want to give you beauty instead of ashes. But you can't get beauty until you give me your ashes. Let go of your hurts and pains, and then let the beauty he has come in. I put this dream in your heart for a reason. You are a very strong person. Take back all of your power and do the hard things every day. People avoid you because your attitude has changed to welcome difficulties and value the lessons you learn through pain that can't be broken. You have been through a lot of hard times and events, all of which have got you ready for the next part. Be very thankful for everything you've been through will soon make sense, says the Lord. Is changing things for you in this season, you're starting a new stage of many gifts to you. Are you ready for your miracles to come? 999. If you want to see a miracle, there will come a time when your one day, your faith will shine through and you'll come out from the shadows of turning my death into the eternal beauty of my glory that morning the sorrows of this world will go away like fog in front of the rising sun, and there will be no more death. God should be praised if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, my dear son, and there will be no more tears or pain, because things will go out of order, and I will make everything. New in this shining Godhead, you will see how happy I am and how deep my love is. My love and the real reason for your... Let's start over with me in a land where the light of my face shines. 
Everywhere that the river of life is clear and the tree of life is tall, always has plenty of food. Don't lose faith in me as you. As you go through the rough waters of life, keep your eyes on the promise about what's to come. May hope hold your soul firmly in place as you look forward to the day when you will truly live in my blood. Thank God my view is broad and I keep the right time for each in it. Give me your heart, God, and let me rule over every part of your life. God bless you and keep you in life. I come before you in prayer, bowing my head and my heart. I know that you are the one who made everything and the great I am. Your word made everything, this world and everything in it, and I pray to you because I believe you are kind and merciful, and you repay those who work hard to find you. Sovereign Lord of the world, we come together today to honor you. Father, we thank you for your kindness that fills us with thanks and love gives us the chance to pray to you while recognizing your power. And Heavenly Father, we give you our hearts to show how much we love you no matter what. A lot of love for everything you are. You made heaven and earth, Alpha and Omega, the start and the end. Your glory shines on the universe, and your knowledge goes beyond what humans can understand. We humbly recognize how much we depend on you and proclaim that you deserve all our praise. Praise. Thank you, God, for giving us the unique gift of salvation through your Son. As a sign of his love, Son Jesus Christ took our sins upon himself. Jesus is the way, the truth, and life's hope for us, and life and only through him can we make peace with you, God Father. You told me to be holy, and you are holy. Please forgive me for any sin I've done, have done, whether they are aware of it or not. Wash me, Father. Even though I try hard, sometimes I fail to live before you. Heavenly Father, your word says, Please forgive me and help me get better that you can't make me happy without faith. Show me how to trust, do what you say, because I want to live a life that makes you happy. Do what you say and walk by faith, not by sight. But I need your help. Pay attention to you instead of what I see around me. Please help me hear yours. I want to stay strong in my faith, so I need to hear and understand your words. May the Holy Spirit always remind me of what you said as I please pray for me so that your words can protect me with faith. Put out the enemy's fiery darts. I believe the promise that I will. Father, I pray that you will grant me all the things I ask for in prayer. Please protect me. And knowledge, Please bless my family by keeping your hands on all of us. Please help us understand your bloodline and give us peace in every storm. I submit to your will and your way. Your hand is the hammer and mine is the clay. I give you everything I have and we tell you we love you no matter what. Even more than the good things you do for us, we love you because who you are, you're in love, and your love affects us in ways that go beyond. Please know that our love for you is a humble and sincere answer to your, we thank you for your kindness, which keeps us going every day, for your endless love. May the kindness that makes us new every morning give us the strength to live our lives according to your will so that your light can shine through us. In a world that needs your love so badly, we know our God. We know you're not perfect, but we trust that you will always be there for us. Step, and may your presence be with us always. Help us be instruments of your love that changes things in this world. In the name of our Lord Jesus, 
Say this prayer knowing that he speaks for us in front of the throne. Amen. I know what you have planned for me good, and I know my life is safe with you. Thanks for hearing me when God, I thank you for giving me life and happiness and for showing me the way, right way to peace and safety. I love you. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless and protect you. My sister and I, may he shine his face on you and forgive you. Brother, we're so thankful for this chance to share the message of love and faith with all of you. We hope that what we've said has blessed and inspired you. Shared here today, we know that many of you have been very important to this service praying for us and take care, and let me know if this channel has helped you feel God's presence in your life. Also, if this ministry has given you hope, we ask that you join the Please Think About Giving a Small Amount to help us keep spreading the word of thank you for your love, hope, and faith. Any amount helps a lot, because it lets us reach more people. Make good material and spread the light of Christ to faraway places. Joining this channel is another way to help us out. You will help us keep this mission strong and going by becoming a member. Become a part of our online family and help us share the message with even more people. To do this, just click on Thank You or Become a Member below the video. Please remember that all donations, no matter how small, are deeply appreciated. Very much welcomed, even ones that don't have a monetary value. Giving this video to people who need it or letting everyone here know that it is thank you for being a part of this journey with us. We will continue to pray, I love all of you, and think we can change the world if we work together. A blessing from God has come. These words remind us that God always keeps an eye on us and leads us to. He never forgets about his children and is ready to give us everything we need gifts. But this time he gives us one last chance to let his love into our hearts and accept his gifts. Write the words, I love you, on the gift. God, you know this is a wake-up call. This call is a reminder that all of our good things come from God. Now is the time to recognize his influence as the world has seen. Us that even though we have made a lot of plans and preparations, we are still subject to unplanned events, getting God's blessings. It shows how important it is to believe in a greater power and look for His help. Blessings The angels are happy to see that God's benefits are finally reaching people. For us, this moment has been a long time coming. We have been waiting for, it is now our job to open our hearts and accept these good luck. We can't waste this chance. It's our last chance. Time to talk to God, ask for help, and receive God talks directly to you, recognizing your recent doubts about yourself, and when He doubts your strength and honor, He tells you that through Christ, you can get through anything. Don't give up. Never give up on your dreams, because God is with you and will make sure they come true. Success God's gifts come in many forms. Good health, happy life. These gifts are meant to bring you happiness, peace, and love. They make our lives better, but they don't do their job if we don't let them in. Our hearts to receive them much like an un. These gifts and blessings aren't just for our own good. They are meant to be shared with people who need it. Sharing love and joy and meeting God is greater reason for us as I start my journey through life. Promise myself that I will not let doubt stand in the way of my success. The divine repeating the wise teaching in James 1.6 that doubt is like a restless sea tossed and turned by the wind. I will no longer be bound by I won't be afraid of what the future holds, 
Instead, I'll accept God's plan for my life. That all of his twists and turns are signs that I will bravely face pain, because it is through trials that I am shaped into what I am today. Who God wanted me to become like a strong tree rooted in believing what God's word says, I choose to stop questioning him and start trusting him. I tell myself that God's kindness is new every day. Sunrise My faith in God is like a shadow. Easy to see in the sunshine of joy, but not always simple to see in the... Despite the clouds of trouble, God's presence is still there, even during storms. Always by our side, He stands by us through... No matter how dark or bright the days are, let us never lose sight of I have not told you to be like him. Lord your God is your strong and brave leader who doesn't let fear or defeat get in the way. Always by your side, no matter what road you take, I will continue to grow in my understanding of how I fit in with God's plan. Over time, my relationship with God and my wants will become more in sync. With his plan and my deepest desire will be to please him. Saying, I have enough. This change requires earnest daily seeking of his presence, obedience to his commandments, and to spend time in his. In other words, we get confused because we don't talk to God enough about his plan for us and promise to follow his lead today. Remember that it's never too late to start a new one to show my love. I need to understand that I was not made to trust myself because I was not made to be in control. My faith comes from putting my trust in someone bigger and giving up control to this submission frees us from the one who reigns as king. We can't get stressed out about carrying our own problems for God. Worry or stress, because He is the King of all with a plan that won't change and the strength to see it through, even if we fail and make it's been shown over and over that He doesn't trust Him. Several times that believing in Him means letting go of any problems you're having. I put my trust in his skilled hands and say that I am full, hearing God's words of comfort. I know your pain, your tears, and your deepest desires. Heart to heart, we've been through rough times and troughs together. I'm here to help, comfort, and protect you. Enough. Let me renew your mind and search your heart. Let me be the gardener of your soul blessing the weeds and sowing love seeds. Forgiveness. These seeds will grow, giving you a long and happy life, my dear daughter. I am patient. I'm nice and I'm always there, so keep your eyes on me. Help and back you up as the new month starts. The greatness I put inside you will shine for everyone to see. God wants you to know that no tool that is made against you will hurt you. No matter what, believe that you are more than a winner through Christ Jesus. Keep your faith, hold on to your hope, and with each step, keep putting one foot in front of the other. Because that way you're not just, when you walk, you clear the way for the amazing future that lies ahead. I'm ready to shine for you in the world of waiting. When patience is put to the test, God's presence isn't just there when questions are answered. Besides prayers, miracles, or gifts, He also lives in the quiet. He is there when you are looking or asking for something. When people pray and give up, His presence lasts through the hard times, storms, and dips. Even when it might not be clear or God is your constant friend, He will never leave you, because that is His nature. You have an endless beauty that spreads in a million different ways. Your aura is contagious, bringing health, happiness, and love to young people, and the fact that you are your own guardian advocate's enemy 
and energy to push yourself to believe in your own worth and love yourself without any doubts about the amazing being miracles are happening all around you, often without being seen. But a strong belief that a mysterious force is about to come out, your hard work and upbeat attitude are what make these things happen. If you bring so much goodness into the world, it will come back to you in double measure. Your thoughts, words, and deeds create the world you live in, so make a choice. They were smart. This part of my life is a faith journey where many questions are still open and doors seem to keep struggling with how I feel about closing. Feeling overwhelmed and angry because it's not clear what to do next. At the same time, feeling disappointed and despite being down, I keep going because my faith keeps me going. I'm still running this race based on my beliefs instead of sight. Tell yourself, these two shall pass, confirming that what you saw was real. Your dreams were clear, and the things people said to you were true. Delusional. The resistance you face shows that you kept the promises you made. If you see hold, it means you're on the right track. If your enemy is bothered by your life, but don't give up hope, soon supernatural doors will open. When things go wrong, as long as you stay on the path I've set for you, even when it doesn't make sense or tests your challenges, my word is a loud yes and amen that will never be empty. In the name of Jesus, the angels finally proclaim this to be true. Please subscribe our channel to reach 60,000 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video, type amen to affirm, thanks for watching.